biscuit reviews from an American that you didn't even ask for. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Adam Richmond, and welcome to Biscuit Reviews from an American that you didn't even ask for. And today's biscuit is the legendary McVitie's Ginger Nuts. That's right, Ginger Nuts. Not just a nickname for Ed Sheeran anymore. Now the ginger nut actually does not contain any nuts at all. In America we call them ginger snaps and there's also something called pepper nuts which is closer to a gingerbread. But basically it's a regular biscuit, usually has flavors of molasses, cinnamon, nutmeg, and of course a little bit of that spicy ginger kick. In Australia the company Arnott's manufactures ginger nuts and they actually manufacture four different varieties depending upon where in Australia you get them. But these are McVitie's, legendary Scottish bakery, and these were voted the 10th most popular biscuit to dunk into tea in the entire UK in a survey in 2009. For those of you who are unfamiliar with biscuit reviews from an American that you didn't even ask for, I will be trying the cookie dry, dunked into milk, dunked into coffee, and dunked into tea. Today's tea, the legendary PG Tips. Just the tips, just for a second, just to see how it tastes with a biscuit. The coffee comes from the coffee roastery in Jackson, Mississippi. This is their Cameroon blend, not too oily, not too earthy, perfect for dunking. And the milk, it's milk. So without further ado, let's get our ginger nuts on. No. Oh, it smells so good. It's like that um, home-baked smell. It doesn't smell as spicy as traditional gingerbread. And you can see it's not that dark, so it probably doesn't have too much in the way of molasses. I want to state up front, I'm not a big fan of the dry cookie. I like that it has a nice crunch, but of course it immediately disintegrates the second you take a bite, which doesn't really make it very fun for eating, but also all the nuanced flavors of the molasses, the nutmeg, the cinnamon, and of course the ginger really got lost, as did all the saliva in my mouth. I am giving this one and a half dry cookies. That's a lot better. Dunked in milk, however, the ginger nut was the mutt's nuts, was the bee's knees, the cat's pajamas. In other words, it was a great dunking experience. The milk really helped bring out all those flavors and Lord have mercy, did you need the moisture. But there was something about it. Maybe it's because that brittleness slowly, slowly giving way to the sort of tender, soggy cookie, really sort of evoked that sort of home-baked cookie consistency and texture where it's a little bit crunchy, a little bit bendy, a little bit chewy, a little bit crispy. It was delicious. I'm going to give it three glasses of milk. Hmm. Tastes like grandma. The ginger nut and coffee sucked. I'm sorry, it's just not something I like. Now ginger doesn't oftentimes pair with coffee, I understand that. It's more commonly found with tea. But there was something about the bitter, dark, earthy flavors of coffee married with the darkness of the molasses, the ginger, and even the brittleness of the coffee itself. It ended up taking it to almost a tobacco-like place. And I do not want cigarette nuts. I am going to give it one and a half cups of coffee. With tea, however, I understand why the ginger nut is the 10th most popular dunking biscuit in the UK. The tea, again, has a really lovely, subtle, vaguely floral flavor and a beautiful aroma, and it almost brings out the gingeriness of the biscuits. And again, it adds a little bit of softness without adding the bitterness of coffee or even the creaminess of milk. That said, I still prefer the coldness of milk and the thickness to the watery nature of the tea. Now you may argue if I actually put milk in the tea, would it change it? But not all that much. Still a really, really wonderful dunk. 
So I am going to give it three cups of tea. So here are my reviews for the McVitie's Ginger Nut Biscuit. Do you agree? Let me know. Do you disagree? Let me know. Is there a biscuit that you want me to try? Then let me know. Remember to like, to subscribe, to keep tuning in, and whatever you eat, may your life forever be sweet. This has been Biscuit Reviews from an American You Didn't Even Ask For. I'm Adam Richman, and I'll see you next time.